Creating a barrel cam in IronCAD can be done easily and efficiently. In order to do so, we would first drag in our cylinder. Um, we're going to change our, our diameter here. Uh, for this example, we're going to go ahead and uh, drag it out here. And um, we, we, we could pull it out uh, using our handles, as you can see here. Um, but in order to be more um, precise, we're, we're going to go ahead and enter our, uh, our value, uh, which is 30 for the diameter here. And uh, the same is also true for our height. We're going to go ahead and grab our, our handle and increase the height approximately and then we're going to go precisely by entering 60 um, in order to help our, our part stand out a little bit here we're actually going to go in and uh, add a little smart paint here All right. Next, we would uh, create a sketch on our cylinder, uh, which will be the path of the uh, barrel cam itself. Um, as you can see on our left-hand side, in terms of our sketch creation, we have uh, several different options, uh, whether it be uh, um, to a single point, uh, defined by three points, parallel uh, to a face at a point, offset from a face, um, for the purpose of this example, uh, we're going to go ahead and select the uh, tangent to cylindrical face at point. And we're going to select our point here. Um, now in terms of the, the sketch creation, uh, this is where we'd be placing our, our path for the barrel cam itself. Um, a lot of time, um, this geometry is actually generated in, in different programs, whether it be MATLAB or um, or other programs of that nature, um, you would be able to uh, import your um, DWG and DXF files here and place your path uh, accordingly. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and uh, place our path. And as you can see, it's um, a path that, that we've generated specifically for this uh, for this example, it does show uh, some sharper edges in its geometry, and uh, we'll be getting back to those here um, in a moment. The next thing we'd have to do in terms of creating our barrel path is uh, align the path uh, to the cylinder in the area in which we'd like it. All right, once that's done, we'll go ahead and complete our sketch and we're going to go to our wrap emboss feature and in order to use this feature here we would first have to select our profile and then we would select the face uh, it's going to be applied to um, in terms of our settings here uh, we have a convex setting um, which will show you uh, geometry uh, outside of the cylinder um, our concave which will cut into the cylinder um, cut our path into the cylinder and the split the split uh, will actually split the face of the cylinder itself by the geometry of the path um, but for the purposes of this example we're gonna go ahead and uh, select concave here and we would like our geometry to be a little more defined than that so we're gonna go ahead and enter uh, minus three and that's the uh, depth of the cut um, and from there we're gonna go ahead and uh, complete our feature and as you can see we've created our, our barrel cam um, in our cylinder here although uh, it's also important to note uh, that you could go back into um, the actual wrap emboss itself and edit the cross section um, and as I, as I was uh, stating earlier about the, uh, the the sharper edges or sharper geometry in this uh, in this sketch um, 
we're going to go ahead and select some of these fillets and very imprecisely just grab them and uh, you know drag them to a location of our choosing um, this can be done precisely or or imprecisely but for the sake of time here I'm gonna go ahead and just select these fillets and drag their geometry and what we should be able to see once we complete our sketch here uh, what we should be able to see once we complete our sketch is that um, the geometry uh, of the actual barrel cam itself here uh, has changed as you can see the the sharper edges that we had previously uh, these edges here are no longer uh, uh, displayed on our on our barrel cam it's updated with our updated sketch as well and we can also hide our 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 sketch profile geometry in order to simply see just our barrel cam here and there you have it creating a barrel cam in IronCAD can be completed easily and efficiently <laughs>